What's going on? The Infantry Life here, guys. What? The Infantry Life here with another informative as fuck video. I don't think that would be true to say at all. Just tell them it. Just tell them it's true. They'll believe you. I don't want to lie to them, though. They'll, they'll understand. What's going on, everybody? It's the fuck day of the week, is it? Oh, and the dog is awake. Go to sleep, dog. It's all right, buddy. You got my back? Oh, of course you do. Of course you do, Zef. All right. Got some questions. Questions from you guys to answer. So, let's get to it. First things first, Mike Halby wanted to know why I didn't stay in, why I got out. Uh, it's simple, yet whatever. Uh, I went in telling myself I'm going to do my four years, and then... I'm going to get out, take the next step in life. Uh, little did I know a few years after that, it would lead me right back to the military and wanting to get in, but shit didn't work out. No prior service slots open or some bullshit. But I'm kind of one of those people, uh, I just take things as they come. If they're meant to be, they're meant to be. That's just kind of how you got to roll in life. Can't get all uh, can't get all bent out of shape over shit. And lose sleep over because what the fuck good is that going to do you? He also wanted to know is when you're ruck marching, what the fuck do you do when you got to take a shit? Hold it. Probably be your best bet. If you're in basic, definitely hold it. You will stop occasionally to take uh, little water breaks. And you might be able to say, hey, drill sergeant, I got a shit. And he better, he, these words just popped into my head. This is what I would think he would say. You better hurry the fuck up, private. And you better run your ass out in the woods and shit real quick. But, I mean, if you can hold it, hold it. And you'll probably learn, your body will learn, I think, once you get in the military. It knows when it's kind of like go time. And it'll kind of help you to just not shit yourself. At least mine did, anyways. Could be a stress thing too. When you're in basic, you have a hard enough time shitting in general as it is. So maybe it's something in the food or the water or yeah. But you're gonna have a hard enough time shitting as it is. So have fun. Uh, Kevin Barweiler wanted to say for me to add on in my video of what to pack for basic training, besides everything else that I said to pack, which was basically nothing, because they're gonna square you away down there. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You don't got to show up with a lot of shit. Pack it. That's the most important thing. But uh, he said a bag full of cookies for all of your, uh, for everyone. For the people. Yeah, you could do that. You'd have fucking balls. You know what? I would give you 33 seconds of my utmost respect if you did that and had some form of proof, maybe a witness of some sort, and did that. Or you could just not bring cookies. But if you did, fuck. Peter Woolridge said, uh, I know uh, we had the uh, drill sergeant fella saying shit wasn't exactly the same, and I've seen other drill, you know, more recent drill sergeants saying the same thing about getting smoked, but he said that he talked, or in his, le <laughs> in his letters home from his brother, who is in basic right now, he said they get smoked every day. And to him, I said, that's reassuring. Just, you know, wonder what the definition of getting smoked is. But from some of you guys who are getting ready to go in, I've seen that there's some research that's been done. And it seems like drill sergeants have found a workaround for the wording used to handcuff them from being able to properly smoke Joe. So, fuck yeah, America. Good luck. Have fun. Tactical first responder wanted to know when uh, you receive your dog tags. If I remember correctly i believe we got them before we left 30th ag which is in processing for people who aren't joining the infantry but if 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 it wasn't then it was pretty i think shortly thereafter when you were in training so you'll get them then you'll wear them forever always so america and i also want to throw in there that uh we've been having we've been getting a good amount of uh, vets not veterinarians this is not a fucking i don't know how to fix your dog when they get hit by a car i'm sorry it's not my forte but we've got a lot of veterans coming in from all different branches it seems and just kind of hanging out join the conversation in the comment section below and a lot of them are giving uh, good advice in the comment section too 
Uh, that's kind of the goal of this whole place is obviously I can only tell you 100% from the time that I was in, just like they could tell you from the time that they were in what it's going to be like. And that's why you guys watching who are joining now, once you get out of basic, get your first duty station, then you can tell us what the fuck's what. And you'll be like, hey, Mr. The Infantry Life asshole, you fucking, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. So why don't you shut up? And I'll be like, Roger, bitch. But yeah, it's a good thing. I just, I like that everybody's having a good time. Um, and just, you know, like I said, just trying to put some fucking laughter back out in this, what seems to be pointlessly angry world right now. Just if, from everybody's fucking standpoint. So, if you're ever having a shit day, I would like to think that you can come and watch the latest video and be like, well, at least I'm not as fucked up as this guy is, so you're welcome. I'm sacrificing myself and sanity for you guys, little blue falcon fucks. Oh, also, tactical first responder, I noticed that I commented in your question of, so how easy is it to get condoms in the barracks and are girls allowed to hang out in the barracks? And I may have had a drink or two in me when I read this on my phone the other night. So I might have thought you were thinking about, or you were talking about basic training barracks, to which I responded, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Haha. -ha. But if you're just talking, like, on post, once you get to your duty station barracks, like, yeah, you can have girls hang out there. There is supposedly, like, supposed to be a curfew where everybody has to leave by, but... You can pretty much have girls spend the night and sneak them out in the morning. As long as you're not fucking lighting the building on fire. So, so and then to answer your second question, yes, you can, you can have sex in your barracks room. And wearing a condom is never a bad idea, you fucking numbskulls. But if you were talking about basic training, then I will say no. Seriously, are you fucking, what are you talking about? I've heard stories about... People where they have, uh, like, unisex, you know, uh, brother, sister, fucking platoon things. You know, basically non-infantry shit where they have females in the area of operation. That's AO, they say. Uh, I've heard of people banging and getting caught and getting kicked the fuck out of the army. So, if you can't go a few months without having sex, well, I hope you never get fucking deployed. You're going to have to bear with me. Uh, Mike, go fuck yourself. I hope you don't mind me reading this, bro, because uh, I'm reading it. He uh, he wanted everybody to know, for our <laughs> add-on to our weekend update video, don't ditch your battles or end up working the weekend doing lawn maintenance all weekend. Bad shit will happen if you don't stick together at that strip club with midget strippers. Make sure to videotape the sex with midgets that have tails, not just pics. Call headquarters to get a ride. These guys are great and most battalions will have a driver for the drunks via a bus. Once they took me home so drunk that I fell out of the van on a turn at 10 to 20 miles per hour vomiting my ass off. They made sure I made it to a safe place even if I was bruised up. Not as bad as the time I lit my face on fire with Everclear. But that is the infantry life. America. To which I just said in the comment section, I've got nothing more to add to this. And yes, that is a, that's a big part of the uh, having veterans join the fold, join the conversation, be able to share, share stories that only us fucking idiots really would have. Because, uh, memories. But yeah, that was, you know what, that was our second, I'm, I'm playing catch on camera, fuck it. That was our second true, uh, what did I call them, Army Wood stories? I don't fucking know. I make this shit up as I go. We got a live update, folks. Live update. Joe Koslick wanted to know what is the best part of one-stop unit training. Well, I think uh, probably for me, I mean, obviously the end, getting through the final you know, field training exercise and doing the fucking long 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 as balls march back getting your cross rifles pinned on you that's fucking awesome but i think in the end when you realize 
what you're capable of fucking putting up with and going through that you didn't realize you were before, right? So basically just realizing how far you can actually be pushed and continue to fucking function at a pretty high level you know as high as a level as somebody who's only in basic training can do but uh yeah that was probably the best part for me my dog's chewing my hand while i'm talking all serious like to the camera right now because that's what you get when you get a blackford fuck like him who's not even eight months old and well you can see his head there i think he's got more to grow update over he is dragging a fork around on the floor with his fucking big dumb paws right now. And nope. Yes. Yes, there is a battle. There is a battle taking place. Zeph, what you doing, bud? Trying to get at that fork? Is that fork your enemy, buddy? That fork didn't do anything to you, bro. You just you fucking move your paws like a cat. It creeps me out. You know how much I dislike cats. My dog is a genius. As always, my little blue falcon friends, questions, comments, concerns below in my never-changing cargo short outfit that I'm always wearing. <laughs> and, no. Suck it!